we're back on our Essence of Cosmic Chemical series, and we're going to do a little bit more PA today. So last time you uh, remember that we did uh, some applications out of our basic phenol number one. Today I'm going to go a little bit different, and I'm going to uh, try and help you uh, figure out how to develop your own kata. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of techniques, and we're going to make those two techniques into a very short kata. So you can take five techniques and make a kata if you wanted to. Okay, so the very first technique he's going to do is the Kempo technique we showed you last time. So we're going to do punch art number one. He throws a straight punch, I block, I kick, I clear him, and I strike. Okay, that's our first technique. The next one is he throws a haymaker, I stop it, I come in, do the technique. Okay, now how would we put that into a kata? Let me show you. Okay, so we come in, we'll go through the formalities, we'll come through, do a full-blown, cool setup, and then after this we come out, do our first motion. That technique's done. Somebody's coming in again. It's that simple. What you do is you take a couple of techniques, you know, figure out a way to string them together. Do them any way you want to if you want to put some fluff in between them or, or whatever you want to do. But just start practicing. Uh, now your kata is your, is your technique training as well. There's no waste of time in there. You're not doing a, a form that you don't know the meaning of. You know, you're actually putting a form together with things you understand. You don't have to figure out what is the bunkai. You know what the bunkai is. It's your technique, right? Have fun with that. See you next time.